Madame Bach to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Thank you. Hello there Matlits, hello there Grade 7, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, flex ko lang ulit yung aking mga official social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at Aero04, on TikTok at Mats and Logics, and on my FB page, I love Mat. Okay, or AL Love Mat. Okay, so in this video, please do not forget to subscribe on my channel and like this video and leave a comment uh, para... Maraming ma-reach yung video natin na to. Don't forget to share this also with your friends. So yung topic natin ngayong araw is all about operations on set. Okay, so hindi naman din ganun kakomplikado yung operations on set. So bago tayo mag-start, let us first identify the objectives of our lesson. So after watching this video, you'll be able to define and describe the union and intersection of sets, illustrate difference of two sets and complement of a set, and use a Venn diagram to represent set operations. Okay, so ang una natin pag-uusapan ay intersection of set. Okay, so the intersection of sets A and B written as A, ayan yung symbol niya, inverted U, A intersection of B is the set containing the elements that are in both A and B. Okay, ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay yung mga elements daw that are in both A and B or yung mga elements na magkamuka kay A at kay B. Okay, let's say for example, set A has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and set B has an element of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Okay, if we will be getting the A intersection of B, kailangan hanapin natin what are the elements that are in common. Okay, so napansin ninyo, yung 3 nila magkamuka, yung 5 magkamuka, yung 7 magkamuka. So in that way, A intersection of, intersection of B has an element or is equal to the element of 3, 5, 7. Okay, so yung magkamuka lang. Common elements. Okay, in Venn diagram, ganito yung kanyang... Um, representation. Okay, di ba sa Venn diagram, meron tayong dalawang uh, circle kung saan meron silang overlapping dun sa middle part. Wherein yung overlapping nila, dun natin nilalagay yung something in common dun sa dalawa. Let's say, for example, dito sa A natin, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 1, since yung 3, 5, 7 ay common kay A and B, ilalagay natin dito sa gitna, 3, 5, 7. So, ang natira na lang ay 1 and 9. So, 1 and 9. Dito naman, since ilagay natin sa gitna yung 3, 5, 7, ang natira na lang ay 2 and 11. Okay? So, ganito yung representation niya sa Venn diagram. Okay? So, next is, ang tawag natin dito dahil magkasama or nag-overlap yung dalawa nating circle, nag-form siya ng Venn diagram, this is what we called joint sets. So, joint sets yung tawag natin. Okay. So, in this given naman, we have A has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and B has an element of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Note. Okay. Kung kukunin natin yung intersection nila, the answer is empty set, or now set Y. Because there isn't a common between the elements of the two set. Ibig sabihin, walang magkamuka. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are all odd numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are all even numbers. So, definitely, walang magkamuka. So, kapag nirepresent natin siya in sets, in Venn diagram, so, walang overlapping. So, we have A, yung element niya ay 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Yung B naman ay 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay, since walang, walang magkamuka, walang magka-overlap, ang tawag natin sa set na to ay disjoint sets. Okay, next is, tapos na tayo sa intersection, yung mga magkakamukhang elements, so element ng set. Dito naman, we'll be talking about the union of set. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng union of set? So, the union of sets A and B, written as A, U, B, 
is the set of all the elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. Okay. Para mas maintindihan ninyo, we are just going to list all the elements of A and B without repetition. Kasi meaning tayo mag-uulit ng elements. So, say for example, set A has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7. And set B has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4. Sabi ko sa inyo, pagsasamahin lang natin yung elements nung dalawa. Okay. So we have A union of B is equal to 1, 2, Pero hindi natin uulitin kung ano yung magkamukha sa kanila. Isusulat lang natin siya once. So we have meron silang 1, meron siyang 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 7. Okay. Ibig sabihin ng union of set, pinagko-combine lang natin yung elements. We're just going to write them as one set, but we are not going to write repetition. So walang mauulit na element. Okay. So we're just combining elements. So dito sa... A Venn diagram natin. So, eto lang siya. Yung set A natin, ayun yung magkamukha nila. 1, 3. Ayan. And then, 1, 3 yung magkamukha nila. And then, pag inalis natin yung 1, 3, we'll have 5, 7. So, 1, 3, 5, 7. Dito naman, pag inalis natin yung 1, 3, we'll have 2 and 4. Okay. So, eto yung representation niya in the Venn diagram. Oh, let's try. Um, A has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7. B has an element of 2, 3, 5, 7. C has an element of 2, 4, 6, 8. And D has an element of 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we are going to look for A intersection of B. So, since at yung A, at yung B, natin ang, ayan. So, unang gagawin natin, we are going to get um, ano yung magkamuka. Okay, kasi intersection. So, that's simply 3. And then, 5. And then, 7. Okay, so the answer is 3, 5, and 7. Alis na natin. Okay. Yung next naman natin ay A union of B. Sabi natin kapag union, pagsasamahin lang. So we have A union of B. So we have 1. 2, 3, 5, 7. Kasi hindi naman natin nilalagay, wala tayong repetition of elements. So we have 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. How about A intersection of C? Sa A intersection of C, so ito ang titignan natin at saka itong C. Okay. So since intersection, hanapin lang natin yung magkamukha. 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. Is there something in common? Wala. So our answer is, Empty set. Okay. In number 4, we have C, intersection of D. Intersection ulit, so magkamuka C and D. Ano yung magkamuka kay C and D? So we have 2, magkamuka yon. 4, yun lang dalawa. So ang sagot natin ay 2, 4. How about B, union of D? B, union of D. Pagsasamahin lang natin yung element without repetition. So ilalagay natin 2, ilalagay din natin yung 3, Ilalagay natin yung 4, ilalagay natin yung 5, and then 7. So, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Okay. The next lesson is all about complement of a set. Ano naman yung tinatawag natin complement of a set? Okay. When we talk about complement, the complement of a set A written as A prime, or yung meron siyang parang quote quotation, single quote dun sa taas, is the set of elements in the universal set that are not in A. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin complement, ito yung mga element na wala doon sa given na set. Let's say, for example, the universal set has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yung set A natin ay merong 2, 4. Yung set B natin ay merong 2, 3, 4. Yung set C natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yung D natin ay empty set. Sabihin, wala siya dun sa universal set. Okay. Find A complement. Pag sinabi natin A complement, ano yung wala kay A? Kabalik ka rin siya. Opposite. Okay. Tinan dito. Si A has an element of 2, 4. So meaning, ano yung wala sa kanya kay universal set? Kung meron siyang 2, 4, wala siyang 1, wala siyang 3, wala siyang 5. Okay. Are not in A ha. We are talking about... Uh, Elements that are not in A. 
Yan, ito na, nilagay, na, nilagay ko na yung sagot. So, A complement, so we have 1, 3, 5, Y. Ano ba yung wala kay A? Ano ba yung wala kay A? So, we have 1, 1, 3, 5, kasi meron siyang 2, 4. Si B naman, B complement niya, two, ang element niya ay 2, 3, 4. So, alisin natin si 2, si 3, si 4. Ang matitira lang ay 1 and then 5. So, ang B complement ay 1 and 5. Yung C complement natin, yung C natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yung universal set natin is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lahat ba ng element ni C na ka universal set? Yes. That means, wala siyang complement. So, ang complement niya ay empty set. Okay. Yung D complement naman natin, sabi natin si D, si D wala siyang element ka universal set. That means, ilalagay lang natin yung lahat ng element ni universal set para sa D complement, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So, kapag nirepresent natin tong mga to in a Venn diagram, yung A complement natin ay 1, 3, 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung A natin ay 2, 4. Yung 1, 3, 5, yun yung nasa universal set na wala kay A. So, we have A, 2, 4, and then nalagay natin yung complement sa labas, 1, 3, 5. Yung B naman natin ay 2, 3, 4. So, we have 2, 3, 4. Yung kanyang complement na 1, 5, ang ilalagay natin sa labas. How about C complement? C complement natin ay null set. Ibig sabihin, wala tayong ilalagay sa labas. So, yung C natin, C naman natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lalagay natin sa loob lahat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yung D naman natin ay empty set. So, wala siyang laman. Okay. And then, yung D complement naman natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ilalagay natin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sa labas ng D. Okay. This time, let's talk about the difference of two sets. Okay. Pag sinabi natin difference, we're just subtracting or inaalis lang natin. Okay. Let's say, for example, A has an element of 1, 2, 4, 5. B has an element of 2, 3, 5. C has an element of 1, 3, 5. And D has an element of 2, 4, 5. Okay. Kukunin natin yung A minus B. A minus B. Ibig sabihin, naalisin natin lahat ng in common. Okay. Ano yung magkamukha sa kanila? A minus B. So, yung magkamukha sa kanila ay 2. Ano pa? 5. So, ang natira na lang ay 1, 3, and 1, and 4. Kasi we're dealing with A minus B. So, ang reference natin ay si A. So, ang natira na lang ay 1, and 4 sa kanya. Si A, babawasan natin ng B. Okay. Next naman ay B minus A. Yung B minus A naman natin, erase ko lang. Ayan. So, yung B minus A naman natin, check ulit natin, ang reference natin ay B. So, ano yung magkamukha sa kanila? Alisin natin, we have 2, same lang din naman, and then 5. Ang natira na lang kay B ay 3. Okay. The next one is A minus C. So, yung A minus C naman natin. So, eto yung dalawa yung reference natin. So, ang gagawin natin dito, alisin natin yung magkamuka. 1 and then 5. Ano na lang ang natira kay A? We have 2 and 4. Okay, so the next one, burahin na natin to. Yung next one natin ay C minus D. C minus D, everything that is in common, aalisin natin. Okay. O, aalisin natin C, 5. So, ang natira na lang kay C ay 1 and 3. How about D minus A? D minus A, remove everything is co in common. So, aalisin natin yung 2, reference natin pa din ay D, aalisin natin yung 4, aalisin natin yung 5. So, walang natira kay D, so the answer is empty set. Okay, so I hope you learned something on our video for today. Of course, don't forget to give me a subscribe on my channel and to hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my latest upload about grade 7 mathematics and other math lessons. Good day and God bless.